This is the Evo model um, in helium technology, a new tech that we're just releasing this year with Firewire, um, which is an ultralight tech and it features like a, a kind of a new Dexkin material that doesn't really dent, it's really um, durable and it's obviously super lightweight um, and it's got uh, parabolic balsa and um, polonia wood rails to give it an excellent flex mem memory. Um, the Evo is obviously one of my classic models, um, great small wave design, super user friendly board, uh, it's been a favourite for a lot of my customers for the last three or four years, it's been a um, really popular design and um, yeah, it's again, it's really user friendly, it goes great in small waves, goes good in bigger waves, even though it's got this wider tail block, it's got a surprisingly good range up to a little bit overhead waves. Some guys love to ride these in, in good sized waves with a lot of good feedback. Um, obviously it's ultra parallel rectangular outline. And what that does is gives you the maximum amount of functional rail line on the shortest possible length board. Um, so that in that sense, it's really progressive in its design. Um, you know, this model is actually quite a large board. Um, it is 5.6 is, you know, 32.2 litres. So that as a 5.6 would, would suit a guy up to 85, 90 kilos and um, float them just fine. It's got a ton of area in the nose and the tail. So the overall volume is really spread out and um, just translates into a very f functional overall ride. Um, yeah, the Evo has a very deep uh, quad inside single concave, which was the design I first originated this bottom with and um, refined it. Uh, it's got a, it's quad concave goes right forward um, in front of the front foot. So you're getting a lot of lift through the center of the board and also a lot of grip once it's on rail. So that helps engage the wide tail block as well and um, project it through turns, having these quad concaves through the center and through the tail. Um, and yeah, gives it a lot of drive too. So this board's quite a drivey board, even though it may not look like it. It gives you a lot of drive and projection through your turns. And I think um, that's a, a big part of the, the success of this board. It's not just a skatey fun little board. It's actually a very functional board to do um, drawn out calves on. This board was really influenced through a study of, um, you know, planing hole technologies and um, studying the, the, the functionality of water over a, a surfboard surfaces and and creating more lift out of a board and also reducing drag. So I, I went off on this tangent of, of um, studying fluid dynamics rather than just following what traditional logic of surfboard designs was suggesting. Um, and then I, yeah, I just started playing with these really ultra parallel rail line rectangle kind of outlines and they were giving, uh, giving me a really unique feeling of speed and effortless glide across a wave and also super easy to turn because they're so compact and short you could get a, a lot of man maneuverability out of the design and in my mind that kind of translated into the, um, the cross board sport snowboard skateboard kind of approach to surfing which I thought was a very progressive way to approach a design um, to make it more like a skateboard and such um, and then combined with all the the functional um, aspects of um, these straighter rail line curves, which were definitely given um, the board a very unique functional ride. So, um, yeah, that that design, it, you know, lineage or history of planing holes definitely has in, um, inspired my work in in recent uh, models with you know the Sci-Fi Cymatic and Hydronaut, um, just giving. Um, taking traditional templates and then applying some of the stuff I've learned along the way, um, you know, to, to bring just continue to bring innovation to high performance surfing.